Hello boys and girls, welcome back. So, a product which you normally buy in the supermarket, which is uh, sausages, everybody buys it, buys them pretty much all over the world, uh, uh, definitely all around Europe, all around Russia, all around Ukraine, uh, everywhere pretty much, uh, in Asia even. And I just decided that uh, I wanted to make my own, because one thing is, is you have no idea what they're putting in the, in the sausages. There could be anything in there. There could be eyeballs, foreskins, uh, uh, who knows what. But every, literally everything goes into them. So you have much better uh, peace of mind when you make your own. So I'm going to give you a little uh, class about how to make um, a very simple sausage mixture. And this is very adaptable and I'm going to talk you through it as we go. So I'm going to do something which is, starting with, we've got a little bit of uh, pork. Uh, quite fatty, as you can see. I've got some uh, veal. You could use beef or I mean, you could easily use lamb, chicken, whatever you want. And we've got some uh, uh, pork fat. Сало, телятина, свинина, и в принципе можно использовать любое мясо, которое вы хотели бы видеть в своих сосисках. Red wine for the recipe. Red wine for the recipe. Красное вино. White wine for me. And then we've got breadcrumbs. Panировочные сухари. Garlic. Чеснок. Uh, some uh, pepper mix, which is like uh, chili pepper, white pepper, black pepper, Sichuan pepper, a lot of different peppers. Смесь перцев. Красный, черный, белый, плюс морская соль. Some uh, Italian herb mix. Итальянские травы. And here we've got uh, rosemary, basil, oregano. And this is this is actually uh, a chicken uh, seasoning mix. Um, there's like paprika, cayenne pepper, coriander, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. But you could actually, you could essentially adapt it and do whatever you wanted. But this is what we're doing today. So I'm going to start with wine, and then I'm just going to take this meat and cut it into uh, chunks, oh, pieces. Meat. Yeah. So I've got our meat cut into chunks and I'm just going to dice the pork fat a little bit smaller so we get a good um, mix of it through the sausage meat. Yeah. Well, now it's all mixed in and I didn't tell you the weight so I've got 200 grams of um, uh, veal. 200 grams of pork. 200 grams of pork. And 50 grams of the pork fat. And 50 grams of salad. Okay, into that I'm going to put two cloves of chopped garlic. Chestnut. Two cloves. Uh, two pieces. Two cloves of chestnut. I'm going to. Oh, two. Sorry, two pieces of chestnut. I'm going to. I'm going to put a nice pinch of uh, the uh, chili. Two pinches. Three pinches, three. all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a nice spoon, teaspoon of the Italian herb mix. Another half a spoon, one and a half. Полторы ложки итальянских трав. And then I've got this seasoning mix. Like I said, it's from chicken seasoning. Приправа для курицы, две ложки. Nice bit of that. And then our breadcrumbs. I'm going to start with two and a half spoons and then a nice glug of uh, red wine how much is it how much is that it's probably oh, I have no idea one second let's check red wine so I'm gonna go with 40 grams to start and then just give that a good mix Oh, sorry, I forgot. One second. Salt. Oh my God, you forgot your important thing. Yeah, salt. Pasalit, конечно же. And then about one spoon, regular spoon of sugar. И где-то чайную ложку сахара и все перемешать. Now we've got that thoroughly mixed. We're just going to move over to the mincer and mince it all. All right, so. For those of you at home like uh, who've got a mincer, right, there's, they usually come with two or three variants of this, uh, we call them die. And uh, I prefer the large one, so that's what I'm going to use. So we've got it set up, just going to pop the die in there. 
and then screw, screw that on. У кого домашняя мясорубка, собственно говоря, вы поняли, что лучше брать более большие. And then we're just going to turn that on and mince it all. Right, so we've got our mix minced and now uh, nicely mixed. So I've set the oven to 200 degrees C on convection and I've got a bit of oil here and a brush. I'm just going to take the brush and brush the tray. 200 degrees of... Duhovka. Duhovka, thank you. And a bit of farsh. All right, everything now minced. I'm just gonna undo that. And then, little trick, just sausage. So I might as well get all the little bits out at the end. We can use that as well, there's nothing wrong with that. Throw that in there as well. And then, okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of our spices to that. Another half a spoon and a bit more of the Italian herbs. One more spoon. Pinch more salt and give that a good mix. And then we're just going to take our fosh or our sausage mix. You could at this point use this for multiple different things. I'm going to make it into like uh, meatballs. Um, and uh, you could go ahead and then uh, cook these in a tomato sauce. I remember uh, an old Italian friend of mine from, uh, uh, from Long Island, New York, and, and I was staying at his house, his typical old school Italian, and uh, the stories are true. His mother was making him stand there for about four hours and stir the meatballs in the tomato sauce. So you could do that, meatballs and tomato sauce and pasta, or I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna make small meatballs and I'm gonna roast them in the oven, or you could also do like, uh, uh, fill them into like sausage um, skins and make sausages. Это традиционная итальянская meatballы, которые можно приготовить в томатной пасте. Можно приготовить в любом соусе, и в принципе это точно так же оригинальный фарш для того, чтобы сделать сосиски. Если кто-то дома готовит сосиски, или тем более есть специальное приспособление на мясорубке для сосисок. Так что э, вперед, что угодно делать. 15-16 грамм кусочек. I'm just going to take a little bit of the olive oil and then brush it lightly over the top and before we put them in the oven. So now I've got my balls nicely oiled up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put them in the oven. 12 minutes. Timer. Start. 12 minutes in the oven. 12 minutes in the oven and temperature... 200. 200. And there we have our 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Oh. Mm. So, balls out of the oven. Class. Okay, so now you can essentially do like a, a variation of things. Like, I'm going to make a soup with these right now, but you could, like I said before, cook them in a tomato sauce or a white sauce, or um, the possibilities are endless, man. It's up to you. Yeah, and you're going to cook some recipes here yeah, with them yeah. because you're not going to use all of it in Ooh, soup. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. We might use all of it in the soup. We'll see. But trust me, these are super tasty. <laughs> 